Hi, in this video I want to take a look at the um, pointiness node and how we can use it in EV. So the pr approach we're going to take here is that we're going to uh, use the, um, or we're going to create um, an image texture by baking in cycles and then we're going to take that image texture and just use it in EV as the pointiness. Uh, it might sound a bit complex at first but it's, uh, it's quite uh, simple once you have made it like once or twice and you got the idea of how it's done. So the point net node uh, works uh, in such a way that it takes the density of the geometry in uh, to consideration. So we're going to take this default cube and I'm just going to subdivide this uh, like 10 times and then I'm going to use control 1 or control 2 to yeah, add uh, a subdivision surface modifier you can see gets added here. Uh, so I'm just going to shade that smooth as well. And then we're going to move over to the shading tab here and add pointiness to this in cycles that we're gonna, then going to transfer to um, to EV. So I'm switching over to cycles. I'll use uh, GPU compute. By the way, I'm just going to check here so that I'm on um, the correct CUDA. Yeah. So I would gladly use optics since this is an RTX card, uh, but um, so far we can't bake using optics. So uh, you might have to switch that if you are on a similar uh, graphics card. All right, so I'm just gonna go Shift A here and search for geometry. Uh, and add that node. Plug in the pointiness into. Uh, let's do the base color for now, and add a color ramp like that and bring the flags very close. Now we can't see the pointiness uh, effect here since we are in material viewport mode. Uh, we have to go to uh, uh, rendered view to see that. And the lights here uh, make this slightly distorted. So I'm actually going to add in an emission shader and plug that like so to see the actual effect. So there we go, we're going to bring these flags real close. Now we can also, uh, like for instance, if we have um, a metallic um, surface and we want to add rust on the edges, we might not want to have uh, these very straight, clean edges. So we can kind of mix that up a bit uh, if we use uh, something like a noise texture. And we plug in a XRGB node, like, like so going to plug this into the second slot there, bring the factor up to 1 and set this to either multiply or uh, subtract works as well. I'm going to go with multiply. Plug this into the top. I'm going to look at that. Um, oh, and we also need another color ramp down here. So you can see that we can add details into these um, so we can create our mask that we can use to separate like a rust from a um, uh, from the metal in a more dynamic way than just these straight lines and we can layer these um, like on top of each other so I can take this duplicate this uh, and just plug this into uh, that socket like so and change the um, the scale here and we can continue to uh, modify this to our heart's content and uh, do all sorts of uh, masks like this but let's say that we are happy with this and we now want to move this over to EV and use it there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, in this case, bake a fairly low resolution mask. I'm going to do search for an image texture here and I'm going to press new and I'm just going to say point in this uh, mask. I'm going to name that. I'm going to keep that. 1k resolution. We can up that to 2 or 4k or similar uh, if we more need a more detailed mask. But for speed we're just going to keep that 1k for now. So it's important that this is selected and then we can just go to bake and we want to bake the emit pass in this case since we have this hooked up to an emission shader. Uh, so it's going to essentially bake a black and white mask out of this uh, we just hit bake here. That should uh, soon turn into our mask. Yeah, there we go. So this is now ready to be used in uh, Eevee. 
Uh, so let's move over there. I'm just gonna select Eevee here and take this mask and just uh, remove all of this and use the mask instead. So you can now see that we have this beautiful little mask that we baked in cycles, but we're now able to use in Eevee. So that's a little workaround that we have to uh, do to um, get this into Eevee. And we can, of course, uh, just uh, remove this from the um, rest of the node tree here. We can plug this in, hop over to cycles again, and then we can adjust this. So let's say that we change the scale here, or perhaps even remove all of these and just plug this straight in so that we get a clear um, difference between these two. And then we can just select this one and bake to override it. Move back to cycles and hook the pointiness up into here. Um, and that's how quickly you can just uh, create a mask for pointiness and just move it over to Eevee. So just uh, take the image texture, uh, separate it from the rest of the node tree, select it and bake again. All right, so I hope that was uh, informative and that you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and I almost forgot, like and subscribe. <laughs>